products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Okay, so let's get started with the video. The fifth product on our list is the Creality Ender 3 V2. This is our best budget FDM 3D printer. The ComGrow Creality Ender 3 V2 is an impressive budget FDM 3D printer coming in at an affordable $280 price tag that still gets you high quality prints and a good print volume. The Ender 3 V2 is a fused deposition modeling 3D printer, which is the most common type in the consumer sphere. The FDM device extrudes a thermoplastic filament through a heated nozzle, which melts it sort of like a glue gun. It then prints the 3D model on a build platform layer by layer. Depending on the complexity and size of the build, this process can take several hours or even days to complete. It won't work with all filaments, but will be fine with polylactic acid or PLA. 3D printers use what's called slicing software or a slicer to print physical models. With the Ender 3 V2, this can be done online via PC software such as Cura and Simplify 3D or directly on the printer using an SD card. It includes a 4.3 inch HD color screen. It uses a glass platform and can print objects about 9.8 inches high, so it's great for making small statues, figurines, or other knickknacks. And I really like how reasonably compact it is and the base is small enough to fit on an average side table, though it's around 17 pounds, so it would need to be on a pretty sturdy side table. Although it has a silent motherboard for a quiet printing experience, the fan is a little loud, especially since there's no enclosure to help muffle the sound. It has some nice features like an effortless filament feed-in, V-guide rail with high standard stabe to print, and a new injection tensioner to make it easier for novices. I think the Creality Ender 3 V2 is a great entry point if you're looking to get into 3D printing or want to create quality prints right out of the box at a great budget price. The fourth product on our list is the Flash Forge Adventurer 3. This is our best ease of use 3D printer. Now if you're worried that assembling a 3D printer might be too difficult, you should check out the Flash Forge Adventurer 3, which works right out of the box. It can be purchased for about $370. I like how easy it is to set up the Flash Forge Adventurer 3. You just take it out of the box and plug it in. There's no assembly required other than loading in the filament. It even uses an auto-leveling build plate, so you don't have to do it manually. It can be used online via a cloud service such as Polar Cloud, which lets you upload, edit, and create 3D files, or with the company's own slicing software, FlashPrint, which is available for both Windows and Mac. Despite being larger than the Creality Ender 3 V2, the Flash Forge Adventurer 3 has a smaller build volume. It can only print objects 5.9 inches high, but the fact that it's entirely enclosed helps ensure better results. It also makes it safer to use. This FlashForge 3D printer also comes with a built-in webcam so you can monitor the build in real time over the cloud. The nozzle can heat up to 464 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough for most 3D printing, but it is detachable so the nozzle can be swapped out if need be. FlashForge sells a replacement one that can get as hot as 509 degrees Fahrenheit. It is compatible with PLA, ABS, PETG, and polycarbonate filaments. Overall, the Flash Forge Adventurer 3 is a good choice for the beginner as it offers a simple plug-and-play setup, is easy to use, and is available at a reasonable price. And the fact that this 3D printer is entirely enclosed makes it a safe option both for schools and in the home. The third product on our list is the Anycubic Photon Mono X. This is our best MSLA or resin 3D printer. Now, if you're looking for something a bit different and have a little more money to spend, you might be interested in the Anycubic Photo Mono X, which is available for around $750. Unlike the other 3D printers in the list, the Anycubic Photo Mono X is not an FDM printer, but is instead an LCD or mask stereolithography 3D printer. So instead of thermoplastic filament, the printer uses a liquid photopolymer resin stored in a vat. The LCD screen projects the image of the build a layer at a time, and the UV light is used to cure or solidify it. The Anycubic Photo Mono X has an 8.9-inch 4K monochrome screen allowing for highly intricate builds, and I like how fast it can print. It can build a layer in a couple of seconds, and at maximum speed, it can print up to 2.36 inches an hour, so it's considerably faster than both FDM and typical resin printers. Like the Creality Ender 3 V2, this 3D printer can build objects 9.8 inches high, but the results here will be much more detailed. One issue with MSLA printers is that the UV light will damage the LCD screen over time and it will need to be replaced, which can be costly. But by switching from an RGB display to a monochrome one, the Anycubic Photo Mono X prolongs its life. It can last up to 2,000 hours, and it uses a safe design. While the yellow cover can be removed, the printer will turn off as soon as it is. This 3D printer can be used with USB or over Wi-Fi and can be used with Anycubic's Photon Workshop Slicer. And the Anycubic Photo Mono X is modestly priced and I think is one of the best MSLA printers, especially at this price point. The second product on our list is the Flash Forge Creator Pro 2. This is our best dual extruder 3D printer. 
If you want to print more than one object at a time, the FlashForge Creator Pro 2 comes with two extruders for around $800, so you can 3D print objects with different colors or types of filament. Unlike the other FlashForge FDM printer in this list, the Creator Pro 2 does require some assembly, but it's still reasonably easy to do. You have to attach the direct drive extruders to the print head and level the bed manually, but the whole process should only take a few minutes. It's also fully enclosed like the Adventurer 3, but it's larger inside. While it can also only build an object that's 5.8 inches tall, that's only if it's upright. It can print 7.0 inch tall objects if they're oriented on their side in the flash print slicing software. An SD card is also included with some build designs pre-installed so you can print them directly via the 3.5 inch touchscreen. But what I really like is the versatility of the dual extruders. They're independent but can be configured in multiple modes including duplicate mode, mirror mode, and in dual color and dual filament printing modes. The extruders work in tandem to build the same object but presumably with different colors or kinds of filament in each. The FlashForge Creator Pro 2 is compatible with a variety of different filaments including PLA, ABS, PETG, and polyvinyl alcohol, which is water-soluble. The combinations allow for a variety of interesting 3D prints. Overall, the FlashForge Creator Pro 2 is a great choice for people who want to print multiple objects at once or want to print an object using two different color filaments. This latter option is particularly intriguing as generally when you want a 3D printed object to have more than one color, you have to paint it. I think it's definitely worth the money for a dual extruder 3D printer. The first product on our list is the Dremel Digilab 3D45. This is our best overall 3D printer under $2,000. If you're really serious about 3D printing, then the Dremel Digilab 3D45 is a great option for around $1,700. It's more of an investment, but it's got pretty much everything you would want in an FDM printer. It is slightly smaller than the FlashForge Creator Pro 2 and is also fully enclosed. It looks like an oversized all-in-one printer. You can print 3D files directly via USB or wirelessly by uploading the files to the Dremel Print Cloud. The Digilab 3D Slicer software is easy yet powerful enough for anyone to use, from beginners to advanced experts who want more versatility with their software. It can print objects as large as 10 by 6 by 6.7 inches. The 5-inch touchscreen is useful when loading filament, printing from a USB drive, and other tasks, which works well enough, though it could be more responsive when inputting commands. If you want to monitor the progress of a print job, you can do so using the onboard 720p camera, which is extremely convenient. The Dremel Digilab 3D45 is optimized to work with four different filaments, PLA, Eco ABS, PETG, and Nylon. Nylon is a great filament and is often used for higher stress mechanical parts, but it prints at 482 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a higher printing temperature than other filaments. Many lower-end 3D printers can't use the filament because their extruders can't get hot enough. The 3D45's extruder, on the other hand, has a maximum temperature of 536 degrees Fahrenheit, which is considerably higher than the other 3D printers in this list. 3D printers can be very expensive, but if you're looking for an excellent option under $2,000, I think the Dremel Digilab 3D45 is the best 3D printer you're going to find considering its performance and features, making it great for enthusiasts, designers, or educators. It's easy to set up and use with a great print quality that pushes toward professional standards in a consumer product. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video.